and welcome to what will be one of the first, or oh, the first episode of my new show, What's the Tea with Lady G. Um, so I feel like I've been threatening to tell you guys, or rather, that I was going to do this. I keep saying, okay, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something. And I'm the queen of anxiety, as you guys well know. And so I decided to team up with a production company to create something that would represent me really well. And it's a coverage of all your favorite celebrities, your, fa your, fav your favorite faces, my friends, trying to get them to reveal who they really are with a couple of shots of tequila or some G and T's. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy everything I have in store for you guys. I'm gonna release it all and let's get right into it. In today's show, we start with the weekly wrap up covering everything that's happened overseas and of course locally, then followed by our drip check where we get to check out our favorite looks from the SA Style Awards for 2019. Straight after that, our celeb guest speedsters in the building and we're gonna have a chat with them and play a couple of games. We go into on-site with Lola Kyle where we check out Speedster's new store skate hub and of course Speedster is going to end things off by treating us to a little bit of a set. Stay tuned. Cheers. 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 Thank you for being my first guest on my Thank show, you for guys. Me. Congratulations. Thank you. Sally. I love that you Making shit happen Thank for yourself. Thank you, homie. Because remember, she was supposed to be an interview base. Okay, calm down. I remember I that. choked hard. What are you talking about? I remember that. I remember, but you were dope. <laughs> Shout out. Mm. Okay. Do you want some sugar with that tea like diabetes? Can I get a chaser? Uh, no, you can't get a chaser. What you can get is a G and tea. Ah. Yes, please. Uh, so let me give you guys a backstory for Speedy and I knowing each other. Lol, where do I begin? Lots Circa 2011. Years. This guy comes over to my house. <laughs> um, I'm having a pool party as one does during summer. And, <laughs> and I sit down. Oh, oh no, we're having fun. Yeah. And he gets pulled. <laughs> I got thrown into the pool. He got thrown into the pool. And he pool. sobbed like a little bitch. I so mad. I remember I just got the blackberry that sliced. You just got the blackberry I that was sliced. So mad. And I was the hero of the day and yes. took his phone and put it in a rice in bucket rice. and put it in ice. And you were so nice. You walked me to the house. I did. You were like, don't worry. I was so nice. You were so upset. That. Thank but that you. actually isn't when we really became close. It is, I think it's rather like two years ago when you came down to Amsterdam. To Amsterdam, oh, yeah. Chin. Cheers. Thank chin. you. Mm. When you came down to Amsterdam, mm. I mean, okay, who comes to anywhere for like two and a half weeks? By themselves. By themselves. So yeah. I had to baby him, but it was yeah. like extra pressure if anything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, then you came, we hung out. I remember it being completely good vibrations. We, I did a song and you jumped on and like produced it and did extra stuff. Yeah. And then it didn't make it to his new ep which is well old. it's it, it's called pump cheese and pretty girls this is the merch yeah, yeah, yeah there it um, is. but yeah i didn't make it it, it didn't make it to the ep but i actually realized that i sent you a message a couple of weeks you ago did. on a number that you probably don't use or it didn't deliver and i was like yo we need to finish that song we really, really? do need to finish that song okay wait a minute i'm about to be a music artist on top yeah of like i was listening to it the show. other day i was like we actually need to finish the song Shit. okay that's yeah. crazy i didn't even know that to be honest i was just about to tease you but now it turns no out. for real yeah. i'm actually i want to travel to amsterdam again next year so okay, need cool. to wrap up you, that that conversation with yeah, the boys you know exactly what it is though let me know yeah, um yeah. but fine when we were there obviously when you kind of like departed the last Thing that happened, it was kind of a highlight of the whole thing, is that you'd just gotten the show with Lutz. Yeah. And we were together, we had shots about it. Mm. That obviously like elevated everything for you, I mean. Mm. We won an award last night for that, for that very same show. Ah, oh, for real? Yeah, we won the Best Radio Show Award last night, the awards. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. But it was, ex I actually forgot about it. Was, about yeah, that. I do remember we were together. It was the craziest thing ever because... It was like a catapulting point. Yeah, like, yeah. And, 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 and... They like called me when I was at the airport going to Amsterdam. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God. Um, and they were like, no, no, enjoy your trip. And then when you get back, you'll start. I was like, okay, hey. cool. I signed the contract and I went. And yeah, I, it definitely put me like on a nad level. Yeah. Like a crazy what level. a vibe. And then all, after <laughs> that, you decide, okay, you're going to drop an EP. And yeah. there's so many tracks. Like, yo, Understand is easily my favorite one. I'm oh, yeah, like, I understand. Yo, I, was like, in a dark, I was in a dark place when we made Understand. Really? So if you listen to it, it's like. Yeah, it's for real. Like it's yeah, for real. Yeah. Like, 
Um, oh, because you don't even recognize your son. What? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to see you. your face. I don't even want to see your face, no. Oh, gosh. Like that <laughs> intro, and he starts. Yeah, he goes in hard. He goes hard. He goes hard. <laughs> um, okay, fine. And honestly, it was also a really interesting one because it was kind yeah. of like acoustic, a different yeah. like tone of things. And I thought that it brought everything kind of back together and like yeah. slowed it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm going to have to get to the Onida. Yeah, yeah, Hey, yeah. hey, hold yeah, up. Hold yeah. up. <laughs> I'm Sabaweli. <laughs> Um, how, what was, first of all, like, how did you get to the point where you're now writing a song about your girlfriend? And second of all, what was her reaction when she heard now that you'd written a song about her? I don't know. It was pretty crazy. I, I guess it just, like, it, it just happened that, like, we were in a really good space in, in our relationship, you know? Yeah. Um, we'd, we'd, we'd fixed, like, a lot of things which were affecting our relationship, which are always, like, things that were outside of our relationship that, sure. that affected us you know sure. so we 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 just like grown up as like mm. people and we like have like a certain understanding now yeah so it happened to be that while i was in that space at the same time i was inspired to make music yeah so like i don't just go into the studio for the sake of like let's go try and make a song it's, yeah. it's more of like i have to feel it kind of a vibe yeah. so got that into the studio like personal experience yeah yeah sense. so when we got into the studio i was like i i wasn't like i want to make a song for my girlfriend but i was like i want to make something really summary you know yeah. i was like i want to make a song that my girlfriend would love for sure you know and why not um, make it if you're gonna make it for the honeys make yeah it with the honey that you're exactly because like. ct was like humming he was i think he was saying like anita yeah, i was like yeah. what did you just say like, Hold up. like anita so i was Wait like a minute. say onita yeah let's try that out and yeah. it kind of worked out mm. and then i sat with una and i literally broke down our relationship for the past eight years on off on for off sure, flipping sure. all over the place for sure i remember it was an off when we were around and then you, were, you said it you were like it has to about to be on now i'm going back and i'm going to do that i was like hey okay. yeah because she was coming back to south africa yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, was yeah. like, I was like i'm out of everything <laughs> peace yeah, you're like, I'm now. <laughs> yeah so okay. um um, I told him the whole story and then he basically wrote about it. So if you listen to the lyrics properly, it, it gives you like a brief, uh, brief like, description of, like, of our relationship. Yeah, That's really fucking yeah. dope. Man. I don't know where you guys shot it. Where did you shoot it? Because okay? um, it looked like you were in Zanzibar or something yeah. like that. Where did you? No, we shot that in Durban. <laughs> yeah, we shot that in Durban. We sneak, we, we, we sneaked away to Durban. Um, I was supposed to play Rock in the Daisies. Mm -hmm. um, and then Rockin' the Daisies dropped me because I was on that list with that I am next shit. Oh, wow. So I was like all oh, like depressed and sad, like yeah. this is bullshit. Yeah. So during that weekend of Daisies, I was like, let's go shoot the video quick. So we went down to Durban and we shot the video. Okay, fine. I mean, now that you've put the receipts out, do you want to clear your name or not? I mean, I already cleared my you name. You already I cleared mean, it, right? I had a statement and, and... And you said it and that was what... Was yeah, we hope. spoke about it on the podcast as well. Mm. and and. Um, it's important for me to also not shy yeah, sure. away. Don't shy away from shy it. Like if you're gonna it, engage you know? it, because then I mean, number one, yeah, it's an important topic just an essay in general. But yeah. also, you've got to, you've got to. Uh, the burden of proof is on the accused exactly. rather than the accused. Yeah, because like, so. I, I have like like kids who look up to me sure. and, and like sure. parents and stuff, you know. Sure. So it's very important that like with my whole life, like everything is there, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very transparent. There's no blurred yeah, lines, there's, sure. no, gray, yeah, there's yeah. no gray areas yeah, about who that. I am. Yeah, so. I respect that, I really yeah. do. And that's probably the reason why we actually are friends. Yeah. Um, but now that we've spoken about all of this, I've got a couple of questions I wanna ask mm. you. Mm. Okay, you have to answer in 20 seconds, okay? Okay. And if you don't answer in 20 seconds, we gotta take a shot. Okay. Okay. Oh, rather. I want to take a shot anyway. But I anyway. know you want to take a shot. <laughs> you know okay. what? Okay. All right. um, okay. So, we're going to start at 20. If I win, you have to take the shot. If you win, you have to take the shot. Okay, cool. Okay. Where's the shot? Uh, it's there. Okay. I got it. Cool. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? And one. Beyonce or Anita? Anita. Skateboarding or DJing? Ah, skateboarding. <laughs> Hennessy or Fourth Street Wine? Fourth Street Wine. <laughs> oh, damn. You lie. I promise. Okay, you. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fourth Street. <laughs> Been loving it. Okay, whatever. Manchester, you or Arsenal? Manchester United. Okay, sweet. At least. AKA or Bono Boy? Sheesh. Can you sip some of this? Yeah. GNT? I'm also going to sip. I'm going to say AKA. Mm. Okay, support for the boys back home. Mm. Um, I'm a piano or calm. Fucking hell. I'm a piano rather. I'm a piano or... Tom has too many. Okay, I'm a piano or trap. 
Trap. The North or the Val? The Val. Okay, make the stallion and Nicki Minaj. Make the stallion. Make the stallion for facts, okay, yeah. Awe, Aight or Awe? What? Aight or Awe? Awe. Awe. <laughs> I mean, you obviously lost. I feel like you did it on purpose. Like, no, I didn't. Like, okay. What? How, how did I lose? You lost because the time finished by the time. Oh, you... that's just because I'm really slow. Like, yeah. really like... Uh, because I have to be like on TV and be like, like welcome to the show, top of seven by thirty. You know, like uh, this is the you beginning of your weekend. You're built that way, and I'm absolutely not. Like I don't have a drop of like fastness. You know what I mean? I move like super. Dude, I like chill. Um. Anyway, now I'm sitting with my guy. We're gonna go into on site with my girl Lola Kyle. We went to go check out his new skateboard store slash skate hub. What a fucking vibe. Yes, sir. Uh, enjoy this little clip. Okay guys, we're out here in Parktown North at DJ Speedster's new store called Skate Hub. Yeah. Uh, tell us, what's going About, on here? Um, it's a skate shop in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. We don't really have much uh, skateboarding shops in Johannesburg. The most legendary, iconic skateboarding shop we have in South Africa is Baseline in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah, I know it actually. Like 20 years old. Yeah. So, so yeah. I, I grew up in the skate park. I grew up like skating, you know? Started doing like bad shit, so like weren't allowed to skate anymore. Yeah. You have to get into other sports, have to focus on school or whatever. And then fast forward like 10 years later, I find myself in a situation where I'm like always depressed, I've got super anxiety problems. Yeah. And 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 like my GP is like you need to find a hobby, you know? Yeah. Um, you That's the curse of the millennial. Yeah. What age was this? This is like, no, no, like 25, 24. Okay. Yeah, okay. for fun. You know, so the doctor's like, dude, you need to find a hobby. Like, what do you like doing? Like, I like skating, so let me get back on the skateboard. Um, so that's how it started. I just got back on the skateboard. I started skating again. Yeah. I and mean, then me being me, um, if you look at my life and look at my career, I always turn my passion into a business. Yeah. The shop, as you can see here, it is. Uh, finally, it's been like eight months in the making. Yeah. Um, this is phase one of the actual project. Yeah. Holla at me, which one is yours? Uh, Palm Cheese and Pretty Girls. The new EP merch. Yeah. So dope. And it's got, got a checklist at the back. And we've got the long tees of that as well. So that's I like cool. these yeah. ones, I won't lie. And I think there's a bit of you. You you love like yellow love and like, yeah. 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 And okay, yellow. So. Yeah. And it's got all the tracks on the back. That's fucking dope. When yeah. did you just start? Just merch for the label, right? Just, yeah, merch for the EP. Well, we're done at Skate Hub. Thank you so much to this Easter for allowing us to come into your home and your headquarters. Back to you. Um, let me wrap this up. <laughs> Thank you, Sweetie, for coming, Thank my you. boy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You are. Is the one. We better. Oh, why did we dance? I like the nails. Like, thank you, homie. Funky. Funky, funky. Until next week, guys. Holla at me in my DMs, in my comments, in Subscribe. Any YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know exactly what you guys I'll think. I'll give you all it. the tutorials. This man <laughs> is going to be sorry to this man. Oh, I would have fallen. Bye. 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 I mean, I want to drive for my I think we're still live. <laughs> I think we're still live. I'm ready to buy. <laughs> that was cool, eh? It looks really good. What's the tea? Cheers. Cheers. Can you take that? Is this a story or something? I wasn't talking. I was. No, I was.